you, John, and thank you for the invitation to come today and speak to you all. Um, you all know me. You've probably seen me online. I've been online now, banging on about this election for over 12 months now. Um, what do I want to do if I'm elected? Because at the moment, it's still a very slim chance that I will win. Andy Burnham is still favourite. The Labour Party is still favourite. Even though his, his majority may get reduced this year, he actually went up three years ago. So he did well three years ago. Um, but like I say to people, unless you stand, unless you try to offer the people something different, we're just going to get more of the same. Yeah, yeah. So me losing isn't, if, if I do lose, isn't a loss because I would have passed my messages on to hundreds of thousands of people. And maybe that is the first tiny snowball that starts the avalanche in 10 years time. Because everything starts with one step. Every journey starts with one step. And that's what I'm, and, and your party as well, is trying to do. Wake people up to see that this is the country they love. And this is you know, their family, it's where their children are gonna go up. And if we don't improve it, then honestly, no one else is going to improve our country for us. The career politicians won't, because all the career politician wants is to be elected again. Hence why they only care about the people who vote. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't vote, honestly, you're part of the problem. That's why they're ignoring you and ignoring your family and your community, because you don't vote. People die to get the vote in this country. And then once we got it, the elite convinced us that our vote doesn't matter. And the reason why they convinced us that is because our vote does matter. And the, the elite don't want us to vote because we want different things to them. So they would rather give us Coronation Street and put us on benefit to the council house, as long as we keep our mouths shut. And that was a deal we made with them 50 years ago. And it's a deal I want to break. I want us to be the leaders of our communities, the leaders of our country, and for us to dictate the way this country should go forward. And if more people disagree with us, that's fine, that's called democracy. But then that shouldn't mean we shut up and we don't put our arguments forward because we can convince people and we will convince people and we are convincing people you know as much as me, speak to anybody in the street now, change is coming. I can smell it in the air. It might not be the change I want, it might, might, might not be the way I want it, but change is definitely coming to the UK. People have had enough. People are sick of being classed and treated as second class citizens, because that's how it feels. It may not be true, but you know what? It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It's how it feels. I feel second class, you feel second class. You know, we've got citizens living and dying in entries in this country, but yet if you're an illegal immigrant and sneak into the country, you get a four-star hotel. How is that fair? I'm not saying those people should live in entries as well. I'm saying no one should be living in entries. That's how simple it is. Now, for me to make an impact at this election, I need several things to happen. First of all, Keir Starmer is, is, is helping me out at the moment because he's upset all the Greens by cancelling his Green New Deal that he was going to put 28 billion a year into. He's cancelled that already. And he's upsetting the Muslim bloc vote, just as George Galloway is, has shown the country. Now, with those two things, hopefully that'll take a couple of hundred thousand votes off Andy Burnham in the election. The Tories are going to come nowhere. I mean, let's be honest, have you met anyone recently who supports the Tories? No one. Even Tory members hate the Tories at the moment because they've let everybody down over 14 years. I've, I've never despised the party as much as I despise the Conservative Party at the moment. Honestly, I've, and I've actually voted for the Tory party in the past. I've never voted Labour or Lib Dems. You know, I have been a Tory voter several times over my 55 years, but at the moment, I just hate them of what they've done to the country, the cowardice. So no one's going to be voting Tories. So if anyone challenges Andy Burnham in the way to Manchester, it's going to be an independent. It has to be. And hopefully I'll be the top of the pile of, there's usually about three or four independents who stand, and hopefully I'll, I'll be the top of that pile. Um, but for me to do better than that, for me to maybe come third or come second, I'll be in my wildest dreams, maybe win. But for those things to happen, I need support. I've not got any millionaire backers. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and comment. And if you like what I'm saying about running for Mayor of Greater Manchester, then stick around, tell your family, tell your friends. 
the only way I'm going to have a chance of winning is a grassroots movement. So be part of that movement and hit that bell. Thanks.